Good morning, friends. Uh, today is September 9, 2020, Wednesday, uh, working day. I am in the parking lot of Moraine Lake. I got here just about 6.30, and I got the third last parking spot. You can see the parking lot is all full. I never knew that this place is so famous. I'm here to do Mount Temple. It's um, a very special mountain for many reasons. I will share those reasons with you when I do more hiking and, and videos. What was I going to say? <clears throat> yes, even though you see so many cars, they are not here to do Mount Temple. There are many hikes that go from this particular parking spot. And also, Moraine Lake is considered to be one of the places to visit. That's why this place is so popular. Again, this is a working day, Wednesday, and the parking lot is full at 6.30 in the morning. You, I'm just uh, amazed. Also, the mountain had fresh snow in last two days. So a few people have told me that it's not accessible, the top. In fact, I was talking to the front desk um, at the hotel I stayed. The guy said that uh, the hike itself is so scary <clears throat> that nobody is willing to go with him. So he has not done this hike himself, even though he lives just in this area. I will discover how the hike works out. Wish me luck and I'll share more of the Mother Nature as well as this particular mountain beauty. Thank you. Talk to you again. Friends, I have just walked maybe, I'm actually almost at the end of the parking lot and I bumped into this hill and there's so many people up with their cameras all set. And I'm sure they are capturing the beautiful sunrise in those peaks up there and indeed it is worth coming here early in the morning to see this uh, unbelievable beauty i still have to find where i am going so i gotta go it's going to be a long day for me in any way and maybe if i walk towards that uh, sign that sign may help me where i'm supposed to go this is uh, Moraine Lake Lodge, which I'm told is closed for the season. It didn't open. So, oh, look at all these people. And here is the sign. What does it say? Lodge Valley Sentinel Pass Paradise. Oh. This is exactly where I'm supposed to go. I will pass all these to get to Mount Temple. Okay, again, I'll show you more. Bye-bye. Friends, I have done 200 meters approximately. And this is the trail I was coming from. And this is the trail I'm going to go up. So far, the trail is uh, very nice, uh, not, um, welcoming. This is the Marine Lake. And if you just want to see a glimpse of snow, there is tons of snow. I think snow always stay here. That snow is not going to melt away for many, many years to come. There are three hikers who passed me so far, but they are going to different passes. Nobody is going to Mount Temple. Uh, the hike I'm up to. I'll capture more. Friends, I could not resist but to take a video of this area. I assume this is a large valley. It is so beautiful. And in fact, I saw deer walking around in this valley just next to me. First time. First time ever there would be a dear family close to me 
and uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe that is where the Sentinel Pass is, where you can see some people standing. But I'll figure it out. So definitely I need to go that way. Uh, there is a trail going up. And uh, after that, I don't know. I'll take one step at a time. I see this is impressive <sighs> okay i'll be very very happy to show you more and i got some good news on my way up here so that i'll share later i need to go so this is um, my official break number one if i ignore the gear check and uh video break for the deer family etc i've been walking for two hours approximately yeah just a little less than two hours i've done 538 meters and lots of walking like almost 5k so what it means is that uh, 1200 meters need to be i mean 1200 meter elevation gain needs to be covered in just about two or three kilometers I can see the trail going from there. There are actually some people going up there. And I am told that that part at the top is Sentinel Pass. So I'm quite excited to get there and see what's on the other side. This valley is absolutely so peaceful, so nice. I wish more people get to experience what I'm experiencing. It's, uh, just so mesmerizing i'm gonna get going shortly so i can keep up to my pace oh some updates um there are hikers on mount temple going up i'm told that uh, the snow is at the top part towards the end and uh I should definitely see if I can be with a group uh, to do some sections. I will see how it goes. At this moment, I'm quite excited, happy, and ready to go. So friends, I have uh, arrived at the Sentinel Pass. So that is where I was coming from, all that... Uh, trail you can see oh i should also show you the the view so when you get up here you can see some hikers are returning right from this point so this is up here i do not know the name of this mountain but what i wanted to show you is the other side so there so I'm right, this is Sentinel Pass, right here. And where I'm going is up there. That's the first part. And I'm gonna wear my helmet right here. And then I will see what is the next thing to do. Isn't that amazing? I take this as a good sign for today. Uh, this is my break number two. I've been walking for just about three and a half hours. I've done 1000 meters. Feeling very good. Weather is very nice. Trail uh, became uh, steep after Sentinel Pass. Most of the people are ahead of me. Some of the interesting comments I heard uh, when I was talking to other hikers who were going to different places, they say, oh yes, there are some younger hikers going towards Mount Temple. So maybe there was a message for me uh, if I should reconsider doing Mount Temple. However, even after reconsidering, I choose to do it. 
I can show you some view around me. It's up there. Where I'm coming from is there. You can't even see because it just drops down that side. There is a beautiful view right in front of me. If you want to see the steepness, that's straight down. And where am I going? I am going up there. I don't know if you can see, there is a very small ribbon uh, indicating that this is a trail. Let's see how much more can I do. There are three more hikers uh, closing in. Uh, so I should stop. I will show you more in my next break. Thank you. Bye-bye. Friends, uh, let me show you some trail markers. Uh, it's when you don't know where to go, it's very, very good when I see this kind of trail marker, which is very small. And I saw very beautiful Karen. That's why I thought to take a video. Look at this. So between this Karen, sorry, this ribbon and this Karen. So this is the way to go up. I'm gonna close my camera so I can do this scrambling and maybe next time I'll have my GoPro so I can record some of it. So guys, this is a section that all of us need to do. Mm -hmm. And I can see these professional climbers telling me how to do. Oh yeah. <sighs> And I just need to pass the poles to this nice lady. Okay, how do you get the poles? Do you want to throw the rope or what? Yeah, I'll get them. There. How about I pass you just one at a time? Wait. Uh, just stay there, can, stay I there. Can drop them from here. No, no, I, I, I can come. From here. Okay. Yeah, it's good. The other one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think so. I will. <sighs> so, wow, this is smoothed out so much by so many climbers over the period of time. Hey. Where is the handhold? I kind of did this one. I <clears throat> Which one? Yeah, next one is this here. This one? No, this here. Oh, handhold. Thank you. And yeah, you're almost done. Yep. Ooh. Is this the crux everybody talks about? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. And that's it? Yeah. Not so bad, right? Well, with you guys, no, it's not so bad. <laughs> you brought rope and everything to help us out? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do I come from here? Wow, the bags have been passed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just, just leave it there. Can because I pass I'm... this back to them? No, 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 actually, gonna, I'm going to wear it. Uh, in oh, you're going to wear it? No. Oh, good one. Okay. Whoa. All right, go ahead. I'll, I'll go last. Oh, thank you. Well, oh, yes, mom. 
Which route are we gonna take? This side or this side? That, that, this that side, side, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marco, you take your with Anu. Oops. Wait. I need to take off my gloves. You think it's better without gloves? Of course, you get better traction. Mm -hmm. okay. And everybody climbs from here, so it becomes okay, very, very smooth. Yeah, yeah, okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Some more. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Good job. I am on my break number three. I have done about 1200 meters. Could you see? 1189. And it's just past that crux that is considered to be the most difficult and most challenging area. And then a fantastic view welcomes you. Of course, there is a lot of snow on the trail. At the same time, it is doable. I don't know how the snow up is gonna look like. There are hikers ahead of me, so I will ask them when they come down. And to show you a 360 degree view, don't worry, I'm not gonna climb this wall, I'm gonna go this way. And this is the view from this 1200 meter elevation gain. Weather is very, very nice. A little windy, but wind is welcoming too. Okay, so I'll continue. I am so very, very happy, friends, that I made it to Mount Temple. This is the view from 11,000 feet above. You can see virtually every mountain from here. There are three hikers who are also celebrating their good achievement. Definitely I want to thank Mount Temple for bringing me up here safe and I'm seeking the blessing and permission to go down safely. And if you want to see the snow and forests, shortly there is nobody else so going down is going to be interesting looking forward to connecting with you again soon bye bye friends greetings from Mount Temple summit I would like to dedicate this summit to my grandfather Dadaji that is my dad's dad in our culture, there is a specific period in the year when we take time to acknowledge the contributions that our grandfather, forefathers, ancestors have done in our lives, as well as uh, we thank them for everything. 
everything. We seek them, their blessings. So from this summit, I would like to do the exact same thing. I want to thank my grandfather for everything he did for us, for our family. I also want his blessings, not just for me, but for our entire family. I also as for anybody else in the family. I wish you, Dadaji, that you have a happy time wherever you are. And I want to thank you one more time. Bye. This is, um, I would say, my first break going down. So we are coming up from up there. Going down there, there is a hiker going down. And this is the view. I am very happy that I got to do Mount Temple. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait, wait to go down and tell my mom and others that I did it. Friends, I'm, uh, I'm on my way down and there is still 400 no, actually 550 meters to go in elevation to lose. I had to take a break here just because the lake is so nice, so peaceful. The sun is doing its sun setting. It's going behind this mountain. It's going to set in another three hours or so. But look at this view, which I just can't tell you how beautiful this area is. I'm gonna get up and take a 360 degree. This is a trail I'm gonna take to go down. Uh, maybe another four kilometers to go. Look at this. So amazing. I'm gonna get going, so I'm back to my car before the dark. So friends, I finished uh, Mount Temple. It's, uh, it's one of the most exclusive hikes in my portfolio. Uh, more than that, I think Mount uh, Temple deserves so much respect. Uh, Canada has made a viewpoint right on the highway for people to see Mount Temple. Mount Temple is uh, one of the peaks, very few peaks, um, that are more than 11,000 feet. This experience has been uh, indescribable it took me 11 and a half hours to finish it i met three very very nice hikers who were kind enough to let me be with them whenever i needed or vice versa but uh, it's amazing what lies behind these trees and this section. Like there are so many cars still here. It's almost seven in the evening and people are still coming. And the beauty is unparalleled. Moran Lake is, is a place to visit. I will come here just to see the lake. I think of many people who would come here but they would not know what's going on behind these mountains. You see those mountains? I think you do. So, I am very, very thankful, blessed, and fortunate.
that I get to explore nature. Thank you.